No Vanessa Udoji. No Sarah Schuen. No problem for the Quinnipiac Bobcats. And, and the kids had an incredible, um, you know, focus. And, you know, they have a real purpose in uh, what we're doing here. It was sophomore Taylor Hurd who led the way for Quinnipiac in their 62-36 to victory over Providence Wednesday evening. Hurd tied a career-high 10 points and tallied three rebounds and two steals. Just kind of get back to my um, old game, which was just like look to attack on offense and, you know, have my offense uh, be fueled by my defense. And it was not only Hurd's defense that shined, but the majority of the Bobcats roster. Quinnipiac held Providence to shooting just 32% from the field. Redshirt junior Jen Fay stepped up on the defensive end with a career high 15 boards. The forward credited preparation in intensifying her performance. So everyone's just knows that they got to step up now and we're playing for them too. So uh, everyone's ready and prepared to step in whenever they need to. Outside the players, the coaches too adjusted to the shorthanded roster. Fabry's focus was the players on the court. Able to um, play together uh, with the players that were going to be in uniform tonight and execute a great game plan. With all this uncertainty surrounding the injuries, the team is sticking together and still winning. Um, I mean, obviously coming off a few wins in a row now, I think we're starting to really uh, play off of each other, and I think we're just going to carry that in and obviously uh, study up on Princeton because we know it's going to be a challenge. So who will step up for the Bobcats next? That remains to be seen as Quinnipiac hosts Princeton Saturday at 1 p.m. Reporting from the TD Bank Sports Center, Brian Schwartz, Q30 Sports.